break, but I have to address this thing. I don't know where. Uh, uh, yeah, small, here. small picket, kind of uh, very friendly. The same, the, the same lies. Um, uh, many of you has, have seen me before. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you obviously came here uh, um, uh, tonight because you didn't think that you didn't expect it to be a Nazi gathering. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Um, or a night of a uh, Jew hatred spewing all over the place. Yeah, uh, considering the fact that this is probably the most Jewish band in, uh, in Britain <laughs> at the moment. Uh, this is quite, uh, quite uh, beautiful. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. Abana Gila in, in every key. You can play Abana Gila in, in a different key. And I even know the dance. Anyway, 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 so there was this lady. I don't know, she didn't do her homework. Gilad is playing here tonight. Is a hardcore racist. I started to read it, yeah. I write to read that. Did you? It's like, no, it's not true. It's not like. Hardcore racist. I asked her. Hey, hey, are you, are you from the opposition? He's, yeah, he's deaf in one year, so find what we are to talk to him. Yeah. He tried to, to prove to you how Jewish he is. Um, he's all Jewish tunes, by art. I didn't even... Pre anyway, anyway. So this guy you? is an hardcore racist. I asked her, have you ever seen a single reference to race, a, separate, a single critical reference to race, biology, criticizing people for being people in my work? And she started to stutter. Exactly. It promotes the view that Jewish lobbies control the UK and US government. To start with, I don't promote anything. I speak about the Israeli lobby, about the Jewish lobby in Britain. There is a lobby. And I think that we should talk about all these issues. Again, Gilad Atzmon says that the Jews are beyond responsible. Jews were responsible for the central, uh, for the Grenfell Tower disaster. But where did you find that? Where did you find that? And if, if I'm that bad, surely they should be able to find something in my writing that, no, 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 I didn't give you, you know. Surely they have to find something in my writing. Now, this is the story. I wrote this book. I published this book in 2011. They really tried to destroy the book, <coughs> but they didn't manage to find an argument, which is quite cute. But it didn't work. They put a lot of pressure. This book is endorsed by tons of big professors all over the world. No one from Oxford, by the way, so don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's genuine. And then they learned the lesson. When I published this book, they said, what are we going to do now? We are going to destroy him as a musician. So they came with all these stories that these gigs are, uh, I mean, I use them as a Nazi propaganda. Uh, if, if, if anyone, if someone here doesn't realize, I'm not a member of the Nazi party. <laughs> and tonight we won't sell Nazi memorabilia. All right? I'm not the Holocaust denier. I believe that history should be subject to revision. That's what I believe in. It's, it's legal. It's, you're allowed to believe in such a thing. I believe that history is the tendency to narrate the past as we move along. And this means to look back, to rethink, to revise, so we don't make the same mistakes. Yeah. That's what I believe in. I, I knew that at least one person is going to agree on <laughs> such a fundamental thing. And I also... What about you? Don't you? Because this is, except uh, Enzo, that uh, kind of destroyed the, the Jewish vibe here, you know. This is quite a, quite a Jewish band, yeah, all right? Antisemites don't play with Jew haters. I'm not a Holocaust and I'm not a Jew hater, but I'm far worse. I'm a truth seeker. I don't claim to know the truth. You 
know if you ask me, Ricardo. Maybe. I don't claim to know the truth, but I love to look for it. That's what I do. And what I do in this book, I identify some patterns that are very dangerous, not for Britain, for the entire West. I talk about the dichotomy between Athens and Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not Jews, between Athens. Thinking through the birthplace of philosophy and Jerusalem, the place of revelation. The greatest Athenians were actually of Jewish origin. Spinoza, Christ, Otto Weiniger, the most inf infamous Jerusalemite, Tony Blair. <laughs> All right? So it's not Jews versus Goim versus Gentiles. This is what I'm doing. I've never been questioned by any police, everything that, uh, any enforcement uh, body anywhere in the world. Even my books are even legal in Israel. <laughs> and what we see, this attempt, I bet night after night, this attempt to destroy freedom of speech in this country is not dangerous to Gilad Atzman. It's dangerous to all of us. It's the same people that try to destroy Jeremy Corbyn, whether you agree with Jeremy Corbyn or not, it doesn't matter. He's a nice guy. This is something that we, most of us agree about. They do the same thing to Roger Waters, to hundreds of me labor members who dare say what they think. The greatest thing about Britain especially about Oxford, Cambridge, is your ability to discuss things, to keep this society open. Yeah. What you want to do now is to come to me and to buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Jew. What a spiel. Huh? What a spiel, huh? What a spiel does to sell a few copies. <laughs> Shameless. Do you know what this girl cost me? To bring her over? No, no, no. And I'm, you know, it, it, it looks as if it's low, as if I or I'm orchestrating all of it. Anyway, we have we are having a break. A break. Um, uh, yeah, I'm having, we are having a break. I will put tons of books here, and we also, by the way, it's not out yet, but we have we play, we ended the set with two tunes by John Coltrane, and this is uh, our new John Coltrane tribute album. It will be out in two months, but you can buy it tonight with the book. So you can listen, you can listen while reading. Thank you so much. Listen while you're